Okay, so here's a demo of Home Remote 1.7. Um, it was submitted to Apple today. Um, because of the Christmas freeze that Apple implement, it's not going to be out until uh, probably between Christmas and New Year, failing that just after the New Year. So there's quite a lot of features in this one. Um, <clears throat> you'll see we've got a new button here, and um, there's quite a new, uh, good new few features which I'm excited about. So um, let's start where it's visible straight away. So if we pull down Notification Center, we now have paging enabled on um, the action screen. So it works on all the devices. Uh, the buttons won't show if there's no um, actions to go on that page, but it just allows you to, to page through backwards and forwards. Obviously, I've only got two pages here. It just pads out the uh, pads out the list because otherwise the 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 view was always resizing. It became kind of uh, a weird feeling. So. Um, if if you roll onto the next page, it does pad it with empty buttons, but they don't do anything. Um, so that's that's really usable straight away. That's really nice. Um, <clears throat> okay, so one thing we can do now is uh, you can't do it with my light only if it's uh, if only if it's got extra. It's like if it's just a standard URL call. Um, you can now attach um, either post or put JSON data. So what that allows you to do is um, you can now control hue. Uh, the Philips Hue lights. Um, I will put a link to the um, how you do that on the um, description of this video. It's really really good. Uh, as a side effect you can also control some of the 3M um, Wi-Fi enabled thermostats. Um, I forget the name, it's something like Filtry or something like that, but uh, you know this functionality should really enable quite a lot more. Um, at the moment it's just JSON data, it does validate it to check it's JSON um, I will of course extend that in further versions to allow us to push and uh, sorry post and put different data um, along there um, in the future. So another really good thing we can do is uh, schedules. <clears throat> now the schedules only work while the device is on. Um, so yeah, so while the device is on and the app is in the foreground. Um, I've looked at a few ways of doing this and I can't come up with a way that's going to work suitably the whole way around. Um, push notifications will be away in the future, but I can't find a service that provides what I need at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, it's 9.45-ish, so I'm gonna set study off. Um, I'm gonna put a timer, and I'm gonna set it to happen at 9.46 that the study will go off. You can set a repeating um, interval if you want. So here's our study off. And now I'm just going to add another timer for 47. No repeat schedule. So <clears throat> I'm just going to talk for, you know, hopefully not too long, another 30 seconds or so. And you will see the lights turn off and a notification will appear just at the top of the screen here um, <clears throat> when that time's hit. So <clears throat> I'll just talk about some of the other features while this happens. Um, we're actually able to bunch up actions now into um, scenes, if you will, or, or groups. So it means that we can actually, um, any action you've got defined on this list, you can create, ah, there we go. So we've got study off, call some schedule, <coughs> excuse me. And that is now, um, because it, there was no repeat, you'll see the indicator here showing that the schedule has disappeared. Um, let's just focus on that. You can see, sorry, so the indicator has gone from here there's one up here in in you know another 40 seconds time you'll see that disappear if the schedule um, is able to be repeated and just let you see what um, sort of repeating schedules you can have here. you can have none every once a minute every hour every day every week or every month so I say the app does need to be open but ideally if you're going away on holiday you could put this on a on an older iOS device leave your iPad at home or something Set it up with a load of repeating schedules on based on time and with a daily reminder. And you know, all your lights, anything that you want to do, your blinds, anything that this app will control, you can have scheduled. So you can make it look completely like you're at home. There we go. So uh, study white call from schedule, the lights have come on. <clears throat> so what you can do, you know, you could turn your living room lights on at 10 p.m. You turn them off, turn the bedroom lights on, it gives the impression that you've gone to bed. Um, it, you know, while you're in the Caribbean or wherever on holiday. So that's, um, it's actually a really good feature. I think it's really useful. <clears throat> so um, one thing we can do, as I say, there's now a, a new uh, group mode or scene mode. So here, 
The format is multi colon slash slash question mark and then a, the name of the action. Um, I am going to be introducing a, a user interface to build this command. But in the meantime, um, so yeah, name of the action, ampersand, name of the action. You can bunch up as many of those as you want. It's, uh, it's no problem. So <clears throat> I'm just going to back the um, camera away and I'll bring the iOS device with me. So we'll undock it and just have a full look at the scene here. So you can see it in the background what's going on. So I'm just going to pull down our our list here. So you can see on this second page, we've got mix one, mix two, mix three, and mix four. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to press mix one. So you'll see the lights turned to blue and to orange. So now I'm going to press mix two. The lights turned to orange and to purple. So what it's doing is the, the lights behind the monitor are one, uh, one group, sorry, and the lights behind the desk are another group. So you can see them going around um, all around there. So number three, sorry, because I'm doing it through the camera, I missed the buttons. Now we've got purple and blue, and then mix number four, green and yellowish. So what we've done here is we've essentially, um, we've essentially changed the, you know, you, it, you can stack, you can stack, um, stack your list now, basically. So it's a really nice feature. I've tidied up the screen quite a bit with, um, just, Change the the corner radius on the buttons, made everything a little bit more square, a little bit uh, more nicely laid out. Um, I think it looks good. To be fair, it's quite a big update. So the the next update is probably going to be um, a redesign of this screen to make this more intuitive. The app has has grown more than I thought it would. To be fair, and I think uh, a UI design should start making everything a, a bit more um, understandable and, and easier to use. So. This will probably be the last video for maybe two weeks or so. I'm gonna have a bit of time off over Christmas, but um, yeah, I think it's I think it's coming on.